Okay, so this video is where we're going to look at appearance. Um, we're going to come to appearance, and obviously if we go to themes, I think you may already know this. This one second here as it loads. You'll see you can change from one theme to another theme to another theme. Here's other themes that are uploaded. Um, I wouldn't go... Normally, if you're on all these free ones, or if you haven't set up your site, you can switch in between them fairly easy. I wouldn't switch them um, out even for a test, because sometimes when you do that, it throws everything off when you try to go back to your other site. Unless you're done with this look and you want to switch to something else, then you can try them, and if you're going to have to adjust anyhow. Um, but for the most part, I wouldn't swap that out. Uh, let's go to site options. This is everything to do with the Karma theme. You can also grab it right up the top there. And the first thing you have is the general settings. General settings tells you where you can put your logo, um, throw it up there, upload an image. Um, most of the stuff you're not going to need to know. If we're going to put some Google Analytics, which we'll, we will do, I'll paste it in here. Um, I would just scroll down. If it makes sense to you, there's usually instructions next to it. Um, for the most part, the settings are pretty good on this. I wouldn't change them too much. Your blog settings, if you wanted a feature image to be framed or floating like this. Um, for some reason, John's blog here comes, they put in a lot of these, you can see, uh, hash marks. Are, and I don't know why. Every time I delete them, it just comes back, but they don't show up on the page. Um, posted by information, if you wanted to post date and comment about the author. Again, related post so that if it's about one thing, you could um, uh, you could see what, what other posts are related to that uh, subject matter. Um, the only one here that's kind of important that you might want to change uh, is exclude categories. Now, exclude categories, there are certain things. The home page sliders, that's a name for the uh, slideshow, your main pictures on the front page, and you usually don't want those showing up in your blog. So uh, whenever we do a home page uh, slider, we just, it just says don't show up on the blog page is all. Post comments, if you want to uh, avoid posting comments, you don't want people to post comments on your, your uh, blog, just unclick that. Um, post comments. Uh, so people can post comments. The only problem with that is you tend to get a lot of spam. Uh, so keep an eye on that. If, you, if you're not worried about comments and you're getting a lot of spam, then just click on that. Um, styling and CSS. Here's where we can change the color. So if I decide I don't want the blue here, I want it to be a turquoise green, I just click that, come down to the bottom here and save all changes. And then I can come over to the page itself. You notice I just have two tabs open here so that I can get in between. And it hasn't changed yet, so what I have to do is refresh the page. When it reloads, wait till it's saved here. It's going to be a bright turquoise color or a green color there. So now you can have it. Now on my page, on this particular uh, window, because I've resized stuff, the menus is all screwed up here, so just ignore that. Um, there, you have that color. Now, if I want to go back to the original color, I simply go back to styling and I come here and click on the color again. We're using this color right here and save all changes. Once this has finished saving, just come on back over to your site and go ahead and reload it. It's taking a while to save that. It does sometimes. Let's see if it's loaded yet. And there we go. We're back to the site. Um, interface options. Again, just go down there and uh, you'll be able to read it. I, get, I wouldn't change any of this stuff unless you definitely knew what, what it was for. Some are uh, very easy. If you don't want the drop-down navigation on your site, you check this box right here and it will disable that. But we do want it if... I don't know if we have it on your site. Yeah, we do. So we, we want to keep it there. Um, theme designer. 
theme designer allows you to change the layout of certain things if you want the drop shadow to be a little bit bigger you add this you increase this number if you want to add a background image again that'll change the look of your piece um font colors you had asked about fonts and font changing the font um this is uh where you change those font colors um each of the colors um the different text on your site um the navigation the pages down here the um the fonts down here um they all have different um uh, what's happening on our footer content so if you wanted to change the color on the footer you just change it right here click on this pick your color and click back out and say save also unlike a word document we're not using fonts in uh, uh pixel size or font pixels um, what you're going to find is instead of having oh i've got a 10 or 11 or 12 font size um, your individual site is limited to what's called h1 tags and so this is your h1 would be your your largest font like your heading your titles h2 would be your next font down your h3 would be your next font down uh, because um uh, those sizes are different um, on everybody's computers depending on their computer screen size uh, so i wouldn't you could change these colors and worst case just remember what you did you can change them back um, font size here it is font size you can change it here these are kind of um, you know 10 pixels might seem really large to you it might seem really ridiculously small but this would be changed for the main menu you can't have a font um, that is not a computer uh, font like the balanced brain here is a font that most people aren't going to have on their computer so it wouldn't show up unless this is a picture and that's what this is this is why it shows up on everybody's screen it's a picture but then you can't copy and select it like you can with fonts down here um, everybody has this font on their computer or a variation of it um let's see what else we have here typography again you have the, these are the choices of the web fonts you can change uh for this particular theme forms if you wanted to uh, create a form uh, uh again there's instructions to this i'm not going to go into it right now same with utility pages you're probably not going to be in these home page if you wanted a, a different slider a different um, this is what you want to keep it selected as home page sliders not any of these other ones if I picked one of these then or like videos then videos would show up on that uh, home page slideshow um, and JavaScript settings if you don't know what it is don't touch it basically that's the easiest rule there and that's really just for the appearance for this